everyone. Today we will be cooking satay chicken. It is made from spicy marinated chicken cooked on bamboo skewers. Satay can be found in the streets and all the way up to five-star restaurants. Traditionally, chicken satay are grilled or barbecued over a wood or charcoal fire. However, for busy people, it would be more convenient for us to pan fry the satay. So come along with me to see how pan fried chicken satay is made. First of all, we will need five stalks of lemongrass which we cut into small pieces, 15 garlic cloves which I have bashed, 100 grams of galangal which I've cut into thin slices and 20 shallots which I have chopped roughly. Put all these ingredients into the blender, namely the shallots, garlic, lemongrass and galangal. We are going to blend them into a fine paste. Add about half cup of water to facilitate the blending process. Keep on blending until you reach the consistency that is shown in the video as fine as this. So let's have a look at our chicken thighs. Uh, we have uh, chicken thighs, 1.2 kg. I've removed the skin and cut it into 1 inch squares. So pour in the blended paste into the chicken. Add 1 tablespoon of cumin powder. 1 tablespoon of coriander powder. 1 tablespoon of turmeric powder. 3 tablespoons of sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of ketchup mayonnaise, otherwise called sweet dark sauce. Give it a good stir so that all the ingredients are well combined. Cover the chicken and marinate it for one hour. After one hour, let's have a look at our satay sticks. We have uh, 20 of them which I have soaked overnight to prevent them from burning while we are cooking. So skewer the meats onto the satay sticks uh, three pieces at a time. So satay in Hokkien means three pieces. So traditionally there are three pieces of satay like this. If the pieces are small, you can put four pieces, but most of my pieces are pretty large, so that's the beauty about making your own satay. We have more meat to eat. So the three pieces are in, skewered nicely onto the satay stick like this. So all our satay sticks are ready, so we can proceed to the cooking process. So get a pan that is, uh, has a gentle gradient, but do not get one that has a vertical rim. The reason is that we want every piece of meat to be in direct contact with the pan. So naturally, when we pour oil onto this pan, it will gather or pull at the center of the pan. So you just dip the satay sticks uh, onto the oil and then, to, then you put it radially, arrange them radially all over the pan like so. You can add more oil. I've just used about two tablespoons of oil for this whole pan of satay. So the idea is to pan fry each side for seven minutes. So uh, then both both of them will be cooked. So do not put too big a piece. Yeah, so try to flatten them out and seven minutes will be sufficient to cook the whole, uh, both sides of the chicken. So baste the meat with a bashed lemongrass, a stalk of bashed lemongrass uh, periodically. So after seven minutes, you will want to turn the satay sticks 
you can see how beautiful it is golden brown and a bit of charring on the meat this is the desired effect that we want to achieve so turn all the pieces and cook on this side the other side for another seven minutes and then uh, it should be ready there you go our chicken satay is ready so we can serve this chicken satay with peanut sauce otherwise known as satay sauce please refer to the link found in the description box for my recipe on how to make the satay sauce other accompaniments are lontong or compressed rice cucumber slices and onion wedges enjoy